Oh my god, it's a whole family of them. They're all after me. Two, a husband, a wife, two kids. Oh my god. Look at me. The wife doesn't even know where to go. Hey, over here. Hey, over here, dummy. Yeah. All right, folks, we have no time like the present. Let's start this episode and start this episode strong. When I went on a mining adventure earlier, I went all the way up here and I found myself a village. Now, the village is within the mountains, so that's why we have a jetpack and we are going to go explore it today. But first, you might be like, Megu, what's in your inventory? What the hell is this gun thing? Pew, 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 pew. What the hell? This is a mining gadget Mark III. We're going to talk about this a little bit later and actually get some upgrades for it. But I realized something is in this mod and we need to go do it. So let's go to this village. I'll be right back. Village ho! I'm here for your children. Woo -ha -ha. We're down this damn corridor and I have a zombie. I have a, I have a spawner over there. I have a spawner right there. I have a spawner right there. What the heck's happening down here? I'm gonna have to come back for all this. There it is. Look at that. Nice little waypoint. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, hell yeah. I actually can get into waypoints uh, at my house. Now, going to the sunset, we actually are going to go back home real fast to say hello and actually put these villagers inside of trader jars so that way we can start training them as clerics. Now, of course, what we need to have a cleric is, of course, having some. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Brewing stands. I need two of them. We can have two stands. Now we can put these guys in our home away from home and actually start trading with them to see exactly what else they can give us. Now I do want to get these guys up to a little bit better so that way we can actually get ender pearls from them and have a sort of automatic ender pearl system. So I'm going to go mining in a little bit for a little bit. And uh, not only am I going to show off this mine gadget a little bit more, but I'm also going to go get some gold and hopefully some ever. Real fast though, the cool thing with this mine, this mining gadget is that it does have fortune on it and it does have efficiency four. So if we look at it, there's a couple other upgrades that I kind of want to get into it as well. Now I do have about nine ender pearls uh, kind of just laying around. And so what we're going to do is actually fully collect and uh, we're going to make it with obsidian and we're going to make this void upgrade right here. Now I forgot that I did some trading with some piglins earlier. He's escaping. Get him. 2419, 2419. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, cleric. You're here staying with me. So when we're looking at the mining gadget here, we can actually go into the modification table. Throw that in there. You can see exactly what modifications you have. That being said, we're going to add in the void junk, the magnet, and the 3x3 upgraders to make this a lot more of a powerful weapon. Now, mind you, this is not the most efficient. It's, I have one more tier above this, but realistically, I just don't have the materials for it. That being said, I have my keybound set. Uh, you can go to your settings and change it if you'd like. And you can change the size of it since I do have that 3x3 uh, upgrade on it. And you can make sure that you can change your void junk. Now you can change your filter and if I go over here and I say I want to not have cobblestone go inside of this, I then can edit filters and put cobblestone inside of it. Pretty easy, pretty easy if you do see so myself. But one thing you need to also make sure is that you have the destroy list to destroy it just in case. And I'm also going to put deep slate on that as well. Now I did say I was going to put deep slate on it. But what I really meant was I'm going to put all this on it. That is deep slate, tough, gravel, andesite, dirt, so on and so forth. Anything that might fill up my inventory that is not a gem. Now, as we come down to our mining area, we can see whether or not this works. All I have to do is right click and you can see it's a three by three and I don't get anything back in it because that's all, all that was, was deep slate. But if I come over here and aim towards the middle, then everything comes at me and I get the gems. So it worked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go mining for a little bit and see exactly what happens. But I'll be right back once I have more material. Realistically, I had a clip that was an hour and 30 minutes long that I did not have audio for. Now, between that time and now, we've done a lot of things in the world. So I don't feel like I really need to back it up. Maybe I just explain it. One thing is we 
upgrade our energy cube. The next is we started with applied energistics and we got two multiple meteors. So there's two meteors. We automated the crystals and we set up the inscriber. Back to the video. With the sun rising in the background, we really put in some work. And I mean everything from all of our chests that were just right over there. Get off my land! Hey! Get out of here! So that being said, all the chests got moved into RME Drive. Now, we have to make two more here, so it's hopefully not going to take that much out of it. Now, with the last storage in, we have to kind of just sit back, relax, and not do a whole lot nowadays. As much as I want to get auto crafting started, realistically, I don't think that right now is the perfect time to do it. I would still really like to get into mythical agriculture, but I'm still trying to figure out exactly the best way to sit here and say, okay, let's think about it as more of a production value. Because realistically, Mythical Agriculture is my personal favorite mod. But truly, I feel like we need to complete Chapter 1 before we go and do anything. Now, I do think it's time for us to go see where exactly this fortress is. Now, I did go and I got more Eyes of Ender from uh, Piglin Farming. That being said, it's time to hop in and see exactly how we get out of this. Got a pickaxe. Okay, I'm back with a pickaxe. Yeah, 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 rar. Sorry, bud. GG! Let's go! chat all that easy dub there you go dragon egg is here you know what we're just gonna yellow this actually that's exactly what we're gonna do um so i did say yolo it and i was gonna defeat the wither and defeat the warden i tried besting both of them with what i had and uh it didn't go well okay uh there's a lot of cursing yeah not not a good sign okay not a good thing mm -mm. there was a uh, there was a lot of name calling. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe the best one that came out of my mouth was uh, Warden, you. And uh, I mean, realistically, that that wasn't good. Um, and yeah, so I stopped recording and uh, I slept. I slept and uh, we returned. All right. I'd take a break. I slept on those deaths and came to the realization I cannot any one of them. Either the uh, wither or force. <clears throat> the wither or force. The warden. So, what's the next steps? Well, I did get refined obsidian and I was working with that a little bit. Uh, we've been getting reinforced alloys, like just like little stuff that we still have stuff for. Um, and nothing really too crazy has happened. Obviously, the Osni Osnium Compressor for the reinforced, um, reinforced Obsidian Ingots. Um, and I also got the sword. Uh, I did make a Fluid Bucket, and with that, I have the Elite Fluid uh, Tank right here. And I'm going to see exactly what we can't do with that. But mixed with that, I also got a Iron Jetpack. Now, I just upgraded these to some elite universal cables, and it looks like they're just going to go throughout overnight. Now, I do want to upgrade this jetpack, but it doesn't seem like it has enough power for what I kind of want and to go explore around mixed with me jumping around left and right and center. So I am going to come in here and actually put this back. What we're going to do is make a golden jetpack. Now, as we do have that gold jetpack going, we are actually going to see, because I want to get started with mythical agriculture and kind of see what we can't do with that, if even if I can do it. And as we want to actually start mass producing something like this, why not give it its own little area? So it's pretty interesting. I could do a harvester pylon for uh, the inferium that I have growing over there. They're growing pretty fast. 
The question I have though is do I want to do a harvester pylon or do I actually want to get into mythical agriculture machines? I think I would do and get a harvester. Now harvester does require solium ingots, which uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have some. And then um get one of you and get one of you two of you and that's it for the harvester i think this is gonna be the one i use honestly i'm just gonna do this harvester pylon and this one i'm just gonna change it out later for the harvester hey, this is a nine by nine block right here so what i have is a nine by nine block currently and then we're gonna kind of uh make it bigger and bigger and bigger uh, a hoe is required for operation huh hey <laughs> ain't that a fact now the only thing i want to make sure is that it hits this edge right up here for when this one matures it actually will uh the pylon will come and grab it and it does that's what we like to see so this now will start producing me mythical agriculture automatically as the sun rises in the east we have an inferior farm ready and fit for a king now I do have the growth juice underneath it going, uh, not for all of it though. But I have ter 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 tertium, I have tertium farmland underneath, which outputs 200. That's uh, one better than, or two better than the regular Ethereum out, uh, farmland. And everything gets sucked into here from a harvester pylon. A bunch of mumbo jumbo, but all it compares up to is I throw my watering can on and it waters as I watch whatever on netflix for the day now i think i'm gonna end it there as um we did lose to those bosses and i kind of uh took a little bit of a take took a little bit of a nap and woke up from it uh, i think it is time that we uh end this episode i look towards new base building and um new uh things we can add on to it and hopefully this inferior farm hurts her, helps not hers helps a lot Hope you all enjoyed, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.